How did the community change the way that you approach learning cybersecurity or even handling investigations? It gave me some real world examples, you know, okay. going to that sock simulator. It was, it was very overwhelming because I was like, you know, I have our eternal one, but it's all of our data and, you know, I'm comfortable with it. I, I see it day in and day out, you know, nothing stood out so far that's been malicious, but going into that sock simulator, it's like, okay, this is like. It's not real, but it's based on real life yeah. examples. So it's like, this could happen. It was, I forget which one it was, but it was like 14 uh, alerts. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like deer in the <laughs> headlights, like, what do I do? And then thankfully, I think it was like the next day you you put a video out and that gave me, you know, a little bit better confidence because that that's the first time I've ever been in the SOC simulator, seen Defender Portal, uh, working with KQL. So I was... I, I was highly uncomfortable and just like, where do I even begin? So, yeah. yeah. So, so there's, de there's definitely a lot of resources just from your YouTube, but inside the community, there's so much more, you know, Yeah. you could even post, Hey, I'm having issues doing this. And somebody will just reach out, Hey, this is what you need to, you need to look for or give you a different approach. So even though it's overwhelming, there's a lot of support, you know, from yourself, Steven, as well, as well as the community.